What's going on guys? Back at it again with another video for you guys here on the channel. This one is going to be our very first update to the Roth IRA portfolio that we started here on the channel. For those of you guys who don't know, I started a Roth IRA that we're going to keep track of here on the channel. It's a basic uh, four fund portfolio and that's basically what it's going to be. It's I, I may or may not add uh, some ETF uh, some dividend ETFs like uh, SEHD or something like that in the future. Let me know down in the comment section if you think that would be a good idea or if I should or should not do it. I don't know. I'm kind of going by uh, by ear at this point. So I don't know. I kind of like the way it's, it's going right now. We'll hop into it here in a second. But let me know down in the comment section what you guys think I should do. And maybe I'll base uh, my decision on some of you guys' comments. But with that being said... Kind of excited to jump into this one guys i know my face looks a little different that's because i uh if you guys don't know if you guys uh don't keep up with the channel i made a video that uh essentially uh the job that i was working at was lucid uh well they let go a lot of people and unfortunately i was one of them fortunately however i did immediately get another job so that's a good thing for me that also pays me more so again good for me however uh, while I'm, you know, in the training portion of my hiring process, of course, because I just started there not that long ago, I have to shave. So the beard will be coming back. I don't like my face without a beard, but whatever. That's, that's besides the point. Let's go ahead and jump over to the Roth IRA, uh, portfolio and see how this looks. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, the Roth IRA is through M1 Finance. I do have a referral link down below. So if you guys do uh, create an account and fund it with your first $100, I believe as of now, they give you $100 back uh, that you can invest into your portfolio as well. So of course, who can say no to free money? Of course, right? I'll leave that again in the description down below for those of you guys who are interested. But as you guys can see, I've been dollar cost averaging for the last few months, this whole entire quarter. Uh, and now we're at... Uh, 2,672 technically, um, it's going to be a little bit more than that because as you can see right here, it's $550 that includes $541 that I've been dollar cost averaging into this portfolio plus a few extra dollars that had paid me in dividends. As you can see right here in the stock ETF portion of this, we have VTI and VXUS in this portfolio or sub pie if you will i have it evenly distributed between 80 and 20 percent of course vti is at 1708 dollars whereas vx us is at 420 uh 22 dollars and 29 cents in the uh bonds portfolio this is what kind of makes it a four fund portfolio you can make this a three fund by removing bndx however i have bnd at 434 dollars and 10 cents and BNDX with uh, $107.13. Collaborat uh, collaboratively, of course, it has 20% of the uh, entire portfolio. As you can see here, stock ETFs, 80%, and bonds is 20%. So it ends up being well. In terms of dividends, so as you can see here, these are all the dividends that have been paid to me. It's technically been an entire quarter plus two months because the first two months of this portfolio, I had only uh, put in a uh, dollar cost average for the last two months. So November and December, which was $500 each totaling at uh, $1,000. And for the entire 2023 so far, for those of you guys who don't know, they increased the contribution limits and now uh, I have it set up to where it's $541 per month so that I can max out my Roth IRA at the end of the year. Uh, starting in December, I got paid my first few d uh, dividends. Uh, BND paid me 18 cents and if you look carefully, so BND, the first was 18 cents and then the second was 38 cents, the third was 59 cents then 76 cents, then a dollar seven cents. That's just for BND. If you can, if you look closely, they pretty much all, uh, just in, have been increasing in, in dividend payouts every single month. And that is basically because I've been dollar cost averaging and that's increasing my dividend payout every single month, which is great. There is a weird anomaly, uh, somewhere around here where it says BNDX, uh, on December 29th paid me 18 cents and then BNDX, the like, a uh, 
little bit later paid me eight cents which is kind of weird however that also is increasing every single month if you look at vti and vxus both of them have been increasing as well the first dividend payout was back in december of 2022 and that was a dollar and 88 cents and then the next one was actually not that long ago which was uh vxus was back in march of uh march 23rd 2023 so literally a few like not that long ago and that increased to or technically decreased which is kind of weird however i think uh this will definitely be a lot more in the next quarter i'm, I'm certain of it I don't know why it ended up being like this. It's kind of weird uh, going from uh, $1.88 to uh, 92 cents, but it happens, of course. In terms of VTI, it went from $2.93 back in December 28th of 2022, all the way up to $6.21, which this is the big daddy of the portfolio. Of course, this is where all the bread and bu butter is. This is the one that I'm expecting to get big returns on in the future. So, of course, this is the big one that I'm betting on. For those of you guys who don't know, VTI is the total stock market ETF, which has a lot. VXUS has um, all of the international, at least a very, very big chunk of the uh, international stocks, of course. And just to balance it out in terms of bonds, BND is the total U.S. stock market bonds. And I know it's a little bit redundant and not really necessary, but I like to balance it evenly which is why I have BNDX, and that is the total international stock uh, uh, bond market, of course, which ends up being well. But overall, it ends up being pretty good. If I go back to the portfolio, this has paid, has a total market gain of $43.04 with total dividends of uh, $15.86. So that's, that's fantastic. This portfolio is doing great all the way around i'm excited for this to actually go through i am filming this on a friday afternoon so the stock market really is not open at the moment of recording of course so uh and it is a holiday today so this wasn't able to go through i deposited it or transferred the money first thing in the morning however today is a holiday and it wasn't able to uh purchase anything so i have to wait till monday morning for me to purchase all of this if you guys want to see what i'm buying well that's the transfer if you guys want to see what I'm buying, it's basically VTI, $353.96, VXUS, $93, BND, $81, and BNDX at $21. So this should buy, at bare minimum, I think I'll be able to buy VTI a full share of that. And maybe VXUS, I don't remember, I don't know by heart how much um, they are right now. So let's check them out real quick, VTI. VTI is at 203, so I'll definitely buy about a share and a half almost of VTI in terms of VXUS. It will definitely buy a couple of shares here. And then BND will be purchasing not a full share, I don't think, but it it's still a pretty substantial amount. And then BNDX 49, maybe, maybe not. So let's go back over to the Roth IRA and double check this real quick. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to purchase BND and BNDX, but VXUS almost and VTI for sure. So that's good. I think that's really good as a matter of fact. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this portfolio. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. It's just a quick update of the Roth IRA portfolio that I have. It's a very simple for fun portfolio. Let me know, however, down in the comment section if you think I should add uh, a couple of, you know, uh, dividend focused ETFs like, for example, uh, SCHD is a big one or SCHY or maybe perhaps both. That way we have the same theme of having the U.S., uh, stocks with, of course, an international. Now, I will emphasize this, that even though uh, SEHD is a very well-known and great ETF for dividend uh, payouts and things of that nature, it's very reliable, of course, uh, SEHY hasn't had the time to really uh, foster a following as SCHD because it hasn't been out as long as a, as the uh, SCHD. However, I do trust in the format and the the, the formula that uh, Charles Schwab has uh, put together to create these dividend payouts. So I trust SCHY based off of the performance of SCHD. I know it's not really smart to do. However, I think it has worked out in SCHD. So I think the formula would work out in theory 
with SCHY. So let me know down in the comment section if you think I should be adding them down below. Of course, I will be very excited to hear what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed this or if you like the progress of this portfolio, definitely do me a huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.